No lightning concerns in our area for a while. The weather has been absolutely perfect. This is a look at the Dan Ryan at 1020 at night. Things cruising along and we're cruising along weather wise. Mary Kay is here now with the forecast and this is just going to continue for us. Isn't that nice to get used to? 67 <laughs> degrees east southeast winds at eight miles per hour. Weather watchers are finding temperatures in the 60s as well. We are holding at a 65 degree reading from Kennedy in Platteville and he wanted to give us a look at his view out the window tonight of the moon. Very nice. Well, the view tomorrow will be nice. You may just notice a few high clouds sneaking in from the south. Those are creeping our way from the Ohio Valley, actually. Sun comes up at 630, sunset at 7 at uh, 708. And high pressure is overhead. We're blocked in this pattern just because of Florence continuing to make that trek toward the Carolinas, where hurricane warnings are up until Saturday evening. We have a hurricane watch for Charleston. And as we look at the new update now from the National Hurricane Center, winds are down at 110 miles per hour but the storm is larger and it's slowing down in its forward speed. So that could really create some big time flooding problems. It looks like at 8 a.m. on Friday, it would be very close to the Wilmington area and the beaches. And as far as storm surge goes, the area you want to look at here is the areas in red or purple. Red areas, 9 to 12 feet of storm surge from Moorhead City heading all the way down the beaches here. And then as you get into the beaches of Wilmington too, we're going to see those very high storm surge rates. And even the rainfall amounts will be so impressive because of the slow movement of this system as it just stalls over the Carolinas. Anywhere from 10 to 30 inches of rain is certainly possible. So when we look at future cast, this is 8 p.m. tomorrow night just offshore from the North Carolina coast and then riding the coast here, getting very close to Wilmington overnight. And then on Friday during the day, really going along the border there between North and South Carolina, these repeating rains, not only are we going to have the floods, from the storm surge, but also just from area floods because of those rains. And we will see a lot of rain right through the weekend into early next week there. Here, it's just 85 on the weekend Saturday, 86 on Sunday, so heating up and staying clear for us. Robin Erica. Great to see that good weather for us. Thank you, Mary Kay.